Volatype Automatic Multifunctional Flow Control Valve TMF74A3 is independently developed patent product Orensin. We have got the patents from the US, Russia, India, South Korea, Mexico, and Taiwan. The maximum water treatment capacity of this valve is 10 cubic meter per hour. It is adopted down flow for regeneration, can be widely used in air exchange equipment, boiler softening water system, RO pretreatment system, household softening system, and other areas. It uses microcomputer control together with a humanized operation panel. The parameters can be set according to the practical situations. Realize fully automatic regeneration. The body of the valve is molded by the high intensity and high quality engineering plastic to make sure of the security and the durability of the material. There is ceramic moving disc which is the high hardness and flatness in valve body. During one cycle of relative rotating between moving disc and fixed disc, which is highly laminated, it produces five different fluid passing ways. So as to realize these five functions, name the service, backwash, brain and slow rings, brain refill and fast rings. This unique principle of hermetic hand faces makes the product have reasonable structure, be economically durable, and have good adaptability and alternative. From the appearance, the product mainly includes water inlet, brine line connector, injector, base, drain outlet, water outlet, adapter, flow meter, control boards, etc. Control valve is the core part of the water treatment softening system, separately connected with system from water inlet, water outlet, drain outlet, resin tank, resin pipe and brain tank. Resin pipe should connect top and bottom strainers. Brain tank should install brain valve inside. Installation First step Control valve's position and resin refill. First, ensures operation direction. Put the O-ring to the relative position of the valve. Screw the valve to the empty resin tank. And then adjust the resin tank direction, so that the control panel will directly face the user. Screw out of the valve. Connect the bottle strainer and the rest of pipe with glue. And put it in the middle of the tank. The distance from the top of the rest of pipe to the mouth of the tank is between 2 to 5 mm. Attention! In order to avoid the damaging from the O-ring, the outer circle of the rice pipe should be chamfered. Plug the rice pipe with a stopper. Put the funnel in the connector or resin tank. Attention! Avoid the flow cue get into the tank during refilling. Put the resin into the tank until it reaches 65% to 70% of the tank height. Remove funnel and stopper. Take out the top threaded strainer connector from spare parts bag and use 5 pieces of tapping screws to fasten it in the valve body. Screw the top strainer tightly into valve body. Put the O-ring into the base. Then screw valve body to resin tank tightly. Second step, pipeline installation. In order to facilitate maintenance, we advise you to adopt three ball valves, each for water inlet, outlet, and bypass pipeline. 
Connect the system's inlet with valve's inlet. Install inlet valve into inlet pipeline. Attention! If the pressure of inlet water is more than 0.6 m par, there must be a pressure reducing valve before the inlet. Screw flow meter connector into outlet of valve body. Please check the washer should be put inside of the connector. Put the flow meter bolt into the socket. If it is necessary, rotate flow meter nut in order to adjust to the position of socket. Install sampling valve and bore valve in the outlet pipeline. Install bypass valve. It is easy for trial running, exchange filter material, and tank test. Put drain line flow control into drain outlet. Use UPVC pipe, a hose to connect with valve drain outlet. Attention! Valve should be higher than drain outlet and the distance between them should not be too long. Slide brain tube hose connector over end of brain tube. Insert tube bushing into end of brain tube. Then tight brain tube hose connector onto brain line connector. Third step Adapter connection. Installation note. It is advised to use PPR pipe, corrugated pipe, or UPVC pipe. Avoid using aluminum pipe. The connector of the pipe should be sealed or non-leakage, otherwise may affect the expected results of working flow. If outlet pipeline or water tank is higher than control valve, it should install the liquid level controller in brine tank. Otherwise, the water will backflow from outlet pipeline or water tank into brine tank on the backwash state. Never connect a drain outlet pipe with sewer. Between them, there must be some space. In case the sewage is ciphered off the system, if sewage is to be reused, it could be put in some kind of container. Meanwhile, there must be some space between them.